I'm listening to this show now, and he's talking about last week's show, which is show number 96 on Oral Torah. I understand that your stance is opposed to oral law or tradition. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I would agree with that statement. I'm not... Uh, okay, and he says, my question is, why does Caleb wear a kippah if he's opposed to it, that is, oral law or tradition? I'm certainly not opposed to tradition. And I don't think uh, Rob is opposed to tradition as well. I am not opposed to oral law or Torah in terms of saying, no, we shouldn't keep any of it. What I am opposed to is the idea that we can read the Mishnah and the Talmud back into the first century. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're, 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 I don't believe that there's a, this unbroken chain of, uh, of halakhic, you know, the Mishnah basically that goes from Moses he taught it orally. He never put it in writing, and then it was transmitted generation to generation all the way to like Rabbi Akiva and and look. Here, you know, that's that's a myth. That's a fairy tale. Let that's me get, a rabbinic let, fairy tale. Let me give you an. We do not buy into the rabbinic fairy tale. Let me However, give you. We use them as sources. It's historical okay. sources. Well, not only historical question uh, 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 sources. Okay, let me give you an analogy. Okay, every year I go to my buddy Chris's house for the Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, tradition. Yeah, tradition. Um, so it's it's a good time. There's not a lot of people there. It's not like the, one of these blowout Super Bowl parties. Okay. There's like five people there. Okay. I've been going there since before I was a believer. There's a lot of uh, profanity that usually gets thrown around from time to time, depending on who's playing. Uh, not from me but from other people. And my buddy Chris, he makes these uh, hot wings, habanero hot wings, that I'm not joking. Uh, they are unbelievably hot. And you have to eat them so fast. Like, you, you'll get three on your plate and you eat them as fast as possible so, so that you can get them down before the heat actually hits because once the heat hits, you're not eating anymore. You're like <laughs> sitting over the, the sink, like shoveling water into your mouth. They're so hot. It's you great. Can chase that with milk or sour cream or something. Yeah, exactly. Now... I've done this for years. I've gone to Chris's house for years. Now, if somebody said, yes, this Super Bowl party at Chris's house has been going on since the very first Super Bowl party, or since the very first Super Bowl, would I believe it? No, I would not believe it. No, but it would make a good story to tell your grandkids. And if somebody said, you know, this Super Bowl party is God-breathed, it is, it's commanded by God, would I believe that? No, of course not. It's not in the Torah. Is it a fun tradition? Yes. Do I do it? Yes. Does it help me celebrate the Super Bowl? Yes, it does. But I don't believe that it's God-breathed. And the traditions are the same way. Do I think that a, wearing a kippah is a God-breathed tradition? No, it's not. Do I think that I'm sinning if I leave my kippah at home and I don't wear it? No, I do not believe that. If somebody, if I walk in, if I were to walk into a church and the person said, would you please take off your kippah? Would I do it? Most likely the answer is yes. If I walked into a church and said, and somebody said to me, would you take, would you please take off your tzitzit? Would I do it? Absolutely not. That's, that's God breathed. That's in the Torah. So the question is, and this happens throughout, uh, you know, look at Judaism. I'm putting quotes around Judaism for everyone listening on online. Look at Judaism today. And when we say Judaism, I know the response is going to come from Rob. What Judaism? Let's take somewhat of Orthodox, conservative uh, Judaism today. Traditional Orthodox, conservative Judaism today. Okay. As a whole... The uh, the messianic movement globs on to a lot of the uh, of those two sects, orthodox and conservative. Some reform, but for the most part, conservative. Okay. Um, do those things help? Do I celebrate Arab Shabbat? Yes, I do. Do I do it in a traditional way? Absolutely. My family says the Kaddush, uh, which is a traditional prayer. It's not God breathed. Uh, we say the, the, the entire Kaddush blessing. We say the Hamotzi, which is a tradition, right? We break the bread. We eat challah, which is also a tradition. We light candles in the beginning. We say a blessing. It's not the traditional blessing that most people say over the candles because we, we've changed it so it doesn't say who commanded us to light the Sabbath candles because it's never commanded to light the Sabbath candles. 
we say, who commanded us to sanctify the Shabbat. Um, we sing traditional Jewish songs, with Jewish songs, quote Jewish songs. Um, we read Psalms, right? These are all traditions. Where in the Torah does it tell us to do that? It doesn't. It tells us to sanctify the Shabbat. So there's lots of things that I do in my life that are Jewish traditions, not traditions that are God-breathed. Am I against tradition? Absolutely not. Uh, I, I mean, I could go on a lot and give a lot of analogies, but no, I'm not against tradition. I'm not even against, and I don't want to call it oral Torah. I think that that's a, the wrong word to use. I'm not against oral Torah, uh, but, but let's call it something else. I'm not against Mishnah. I'm not against Talmud in certain areas. When it says that, that Yeshua should be boiled in excrement uh, in hell, am I against that? Obviously. 